Today I'm going to show you our to create a turbo boost gate actuator. You can see. I'm going to remove some parts. I've already removed a few of them. As you can see, those are the retired oil pipes from the turbo itself. And the actual bolt that's holding it is a star T30 bolt. As you can see, this is what you need to remove it. You need to remove both those return pipes. And then those 12 mil copper nuts, as you can see, that goes on to the exhaust manifold. Then we're going to move to the next step. Just 
the bracket that goes to the heat shield. You want to take the heat shield off because once you take the heat shield off, you'll be able to see what's underneath. Remove the bracket off the turbo so we disconnect the turbo. Take it off. You can see there's a 30 mil fit into this as well. Forward and then let you just pull it that way and then pull it off and then lift it out this way. You can see it's off now, which is gonna pull it out. Try not to break anything so after taking it out. Done. This one was seized. So what I had to do was literally put like a little chisel in there, you can see, in between the gap, and literally just tap it gently. And then literally now, and obviously playing, spraying a lot of WD-40 in there, the circuit. And then you can see now it's coming off. careful when removing these things. You can see that one's off now. So just need to take the whole thing off completely. Alright, you can see I'm going to leave Oh, 
marathon. Starting down first. So, and this is going to have to push that back forwards. So you can see that's what it does. Open and close the wastegate for the turbo, for the exhaust gases. See, I've fitted it back on. Now I'm going to do the bolts up. So literally slot that in first, and then literally the bolts off. And I'm going to tighten the bolts up now. And then I'm just going to put the little circuit underneath there. I'm going to put the new one in as well. Put the new bolts in it. But you can use the old ones if you haven't got the new ones to be fitted to it. See, so these are the fault codes and the vehicle itself before I've actually replaced it and changed the beast presser actuator so if you see these codes but also obviously do your own little diagnostic to find out exactly what's going on don't always just change parts because of fault codes as you can see I'm about to start the engine up there's no ESP light on or engine light and there's no fault on the dash whatsoever just going to check that the actuator is actually boost pressure actuator is actually moving as well okay go ahead so ladies and gentlemen thank you and thank you for watching gab official please like and subscribe for further content thank you